Hi, today Google released Gemini, the long-awaited new model that hopefully should be able to rival GPT-4. I want to take a first glance on it and compare it to GPT-4 with different tasks. To be able to use Gemini, you first have to navigate to one.google.com and there select the AI premium plan. Currently, Gemini is offered two months for free and yeah, you just have to select your plan or upgrade your plan to work with it. After upgrading to AI Premium, you can go to gemini.google.com and there you will be able to use it with your Google account. So my name is Data here and it asked me how can it help me. So it looks very much similar to GPT-4. On the left you've got your chat history and here you can now write your prompt. So I will just write hello, who are you? And we will see what Gemini will answer to this. So I'm Gemini Advanced, a large language model created by Google. So very similar behavior to that uh, behavior of GPT-4, where you can also ask, uh, yeah, who are you? And it will answer, I'm GPT-4 trained by OpenAI and so on. So a little bit of difference is here, these teaser texts. So here you can click and directly uh, talk to GPT. In this case, you don't have these a conversation starter, but I guess most of you are anyway familiar with prompting an LLM. So that's fine for me. So now let's run our first task. So first I want Gemini to create a class, a player, which three classes, Archer, Warrior and Mage inherit from. And then it should also create some example code. So let's try that out. And actually what we can see that it seems to be a little bit faster than GPT-4. So we get our base class and I, th I think that looks pretty good. Here we can see that um, it also implements that base class interface. So I also think that looks good. The uh, code uses highlighting. So here we've got our examples and also comments what the output should look like. So I think this is pretty fine and it's also written in Python. So this is something I would also expect from GPT-4, let's create a new chat and give it the same task. And let's see how that looks like in GPT-4. So where is the difference? So here we get almost the same methods. It's a little bit more verbose. And it also uses super. I think that's a very nice example, how to use super. In Gemini's case, that was not used. And as you can see, it's a little bit slower. Yeah, in general, it looks pretty much the same. Here, this is a little bit more of a pose. It's in general a little bit slower, but I think the code quality is fine. So first impression, Gemini is able to write code on a pretty good level. One very important feature when I code and ask a question about code is the context window. So here I've got the PG vector class from Langchain and we've got more than 1000 line of code in this file. So I will copy that from top to bottom and now just paste it in here. So first impression, this is slower. So when I paste a lot of code into this prompt, it seems to make it uh, very hard for Gemini to actually do anything. As you can see, I type, but nothing happens. So this is something I did not expect. So I had to delete something, to be honest. And now, yeah, I maybe have to delete that last function. And now I can write again. Maybe that was exact the maximum um, possible words or tokens I'm able to put into that model. So now let's ask analyze the code, anything bad, and see if it is able to handle that. So as you can see, something does not work as expected. So I press enter, but nothing really happens. So why is that? Uh, that looks buggy to be honest. And again, it does not work. So I try to reduce it even more. So now we can see that it writes an answer, but actually that is quite disappointing. I would normally expect some kind of error if I paste a file which is too long. Let's try that with GPT-4. 
just paste it in and GPT-4 is easily handled to work with a file of 1000 lines of code. So yeah, one point for GPT-4 and in my opinion, zero for Gemini. So let's try another task. We can see that we are able to upload images the same as for GPT-4, where we can upload multiple files. And in this case, yeah, it's only an image, but we can not upload files like PDFs or so. So something like the code interpreter is currently not possible, but let's try an image. So this is the image I want to upload. We can see that here we've got different kinds of food. Here we got drinks and here we've got food. And I want to know what is the most important drink and what is the most important food on this table and how much would I pay if I combine both. So that's my task. And I want to uh, get the correct answer by just providing that image and prompt. Okay, let's press enter. And now we can see how good is the object detection or the visual component of Gemini. So the most important, uh, the most expensive is 1050 and for the drink it's 650 and combined it's 70 euros. So let's check that and as we can see this is actually correct. So 1050 and 650 is 17. So I think that's not a very easy task but maybe not the most difficult but I think that's really good result. Let's also check how GPT-4 is able to handle that task. And as we can see, it is able to identify the most expensive drink and the most expensive food. So now it combines the two. It even shows how that works mathematically. Yeah, we get the correct answer. And yeah, GPT-4 and Gemini are able to handle the task. One very cool feature of GPT or OpenAI is that it's able to write prompts for DALI so we can create images. So let's try that. Create an image of how that food could look like. So now we want GPT to prompt DALI and an image is created for us. Let's do the same here for Gemini. And Gemini gives us back the following answer. I can't create images yet, so I'm not able to help you with that. So there is a, is a yet, but as you can see, currently image creation is not possible. So let's now check if GPT was able to do that. And yeah, this was created by DALI, even though it combined the shrimps and the Aperol, I think that's a very nice result. We could have prompted it better, but yeah, that's something I definitely miss in Gemini currently. Now let's have a look at a feature that Gemini offers, which GPT-4 does not offer, and that is this. So for GPT, we can create an answer again and again, but Gemini allows us to do that on another level. So when we receive an answer, we can prompt it with uh, this drop-down menu to make it shorter, to make it longer, to make it easier, or to make it more professional. So just by clicking here, you can now create a much shorter answer. So for GPT, you would have to write a new prompt, so make the last answer shorter, but here you can just re uh, recreate it and you don't create um, a very long history. So I think that's a very nice feature of Gemini. So something that OpenAI does not offer. Another feature that Gemini offers, which OpenAI does not, at least not on the web version, is to use the microphone. So I will try that out. So click on use microphone. And now we can just speak something. And as you can see, yeah, it does actually make mistakes and just pause. So I don't know why this happens, but now I have to click again and have to restart. So I think the experience with the microphone is not as good as for OpenAI. So yeah, it's maybe missing here on the web version, but I think the experience with the microphone in the app you can download from the App Store, there the microphone works much better and you can actually make pauses and it won't stop the recording. The text-to-speech model also, or speech-to-text model seems to be much better than this model, which is used here under the hood. So I think the experience for OpenAI is better there. So TLDR, my experience with Gemini is okay-ish. It is able to write pretty good code, at least better than most other models I experimented with. But 
a lot of features OpenAI has are missing. So currently I don't see why I should or would switch to Google from OpenAI. So even if it might at the end beat GPT-4 in some benchmarks, the overall experience and system integration is by far not as good as in the OpenAI platform. So what is your opinion on Gemini? Would you switch to Gemini from OpenAI? Let me know that in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.